obviously it was a big family, uh, five girls, five boys, but we also had a, a first cousin that, that grew up with us boys, a uh, similar age. Um, so there were six of us, uh, which made it quite good for, for games. And, uh, you know, the older siblings had a, had a massive uh, influence on, on our careers in terms of, uh, you know, they were able to, to help our parents out, um, you know, provide, you know, I'm number eight, so I was 10. You know, that, that helped us follow our dreams and our aspirations to, to go out there. And, um, you know, and obviously rugby uh, was, was that catalyst for us to, to go and chase. Everyone hated losing, so I um, was very competitive and, um, you know, probably me being the youngest, always uh, I probably lost a lot, uh, being too small, too young, but uh, no, nah, I think it was perfect environment, um, you know, coming in, in, coming into a rugby environment and, and a professional environment too. For us going to attend Wesley College was going to give us the best hope, uh, you know, in both worlds, whether it was education or sports, and, uh, you know, we're truly grateful you know, our parents being able to, to send us there. And one of the greatest things being at the school was like the dining room. They had Jonah Long's jerseys and all the other players' jerseys that had made the All Blacks. I could say for probably both of us, Wesley played a massive part into, I guess, us, our rugby careers and, and building us into, um, you know, the professional careers that we, we now have. I've always told other people, like, I've been very blessed for, like, to have someone like Xiaole who's on and, and done things before me because I've almost like been able to learn from his mistakes and he's always given me advice or the situations that I'm, I'm entering he's been there and done that so I guess seeing him you know really pursue rugby as a professional career really um, put that thought and idea in myself that man this is a, a genuine opportunity and a, could be a career for myself. I really wanted to play for Tonga in that 2011 World Cup being in New Zealand um, but to be able to do that, you know, to, to play in that, that first World Cup or even put on the jersey, I think just puts, gives me memories of, you know, the, the, the journey that my father took, you know, to go from Tonga, uh, to leave all their family there, to, to go to New Zealand um, and, and find a better life. That's the feelings, that's, that's uh, almost what I, I get every time I would put that, that Tonga jersey on, is, is the sacrifices, you know, that everyone that I know has taken, you know, for me to, to put on that jersey. I think once I started making some of the like 18 schoolboys and in, in the 20s, I was like, man, this is it's starting to get closer and, and it's becoming a bit more real. And um, being able to represent the country like uh, New Zealand, it was always like a dream and something you aspire to. But then finally put that, that jersey on and, and then play with the players that were there and, and um, against you know other international teams was just a surreal moment. And funny enough, like for our family as well, like being able to have best of both worlds, like. You know, Xiaole playing for Tonga and me and New Zealand, you know, two countries that I guess have, have played a massive part in, in our lives. Yeah, it was WASP 2016. Uh, so funny story about that. Um, I was based in Japan at the time and uh, I'd called Charles and told him I was going to bring the family over at the time. I had a wife and four kids. And, um, you know, we were trying to work out a budget in terms of come up here to, to the UK to visit Charles. And um, finally enough, about a month later, I got a call from the agent. Um, as soon as he met Jim Walsh, I told him, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do anything, you know, just to get up there and play with Charles. Uh, you know, I'll do it for free. Uh, obviously, because we hadn't done, we hadn't played together in the past. Um, so to be able to tick that box off, to be able to, you know, run out in the field together, is uh, it's truly been a blessing. It's funny our path, like it wasn't until that kind of stage of our career that we had actually had our first time to play in the same team, um, and I think. And a part of that story too is like Xiaole being an older brother to me, there, there had been opportunities earlier where he could have been a bit biased and, and teams that he was a part of, coaches could have pushed him to, you know, get me to come along to the same team. But he'd always just told me like, you know, I'll make the right decision for, for myself. Um, and luckily enough, you know, the opportunity did come and we end up um, playing their first game professionally. And, and then, you know, here we are again and, um, with the Bears and it's, it's been awesome. We want to be a powerhouse, you know, um, not only just in in Europe, but, you know, in the world, you know, we want to be the likes of where Exeter are at the moment, you know, winning, you know, doing the double, the Prem, you know, doing Champions Cup, you know, that's, that's the aspiration of the club that we want to get to and to see it come to fruition with, uh, you know, the likes of Harry Randall making England, you know, you've got all these internationals that are now, you know, getting that recognition and the, the style that we play um, and the brand of rugby that we play. It just shows, you know, what we are building and the journey that we're on. 
when I first came to Bristol, like the amount of Bath jerseys I've seen, like driving around the city, like I was almost thought I was in Bath, but like as I've seen as the years have gone on, like more people are wearing the Bristol jersey and, and then seeing the fans come out to the to the games and you know seeing that that part of the journey as well, like and for us, you know, wanting to create more trophies in the cabinet, more rugby success, more winning, um, and seeing that change. You know, coming through like young kids as well, wanting to be in the academy system or play for, put on their Bristol jersey one day. So.